I'm Eyeball John, and welcome to my channel, Eyeball John's Custom Corner. I've been building and restoring cars over 40 years now. I specialize in Corvette restoration, fiberglass, and metal fabrication. I started this channel to showcase some of the work I've done over the years, and to give you some tips and tricks I learned along the way. I'll also be covering a complete restoration of a classic Corvette from start to finish. I'll also be showing how to make fiberglass molds and silicone molds to make shifter knobs or pretty much anything else you could think of. So sit back, relax, enjoy the first episode, like and subscribe, and leave comments. Thank you. So this is how the project started. A 40 dollar grill I picked up with a big dent down the center. Broke out the hammer, the dolly, and the grinder, and started to repair it. And as I was grinding down the high spots, I noticed the pattern and I liked it and thought this would be pretty cool for flames on the truck. The fenders and the hood were original to the truck and they were pretty badly pitted as you can see from the pictures. So it took a while but a lot of grinding, a lot of sanding and I finally got the fenders and the hood down to a nice smooth base to start the project. I never expected this truck to go this far. I was pretty much going to build a rat rod in the beginning and use the original patina but I've always had flames on every truck I ever owned and I wanted to do something different and I thought it'd be pretty cool to come up with a flame that actually moved like the old flickering used to get back in the day at a gumball machine when you were a kid so it took a while like I said but the uh, finally got the metal down to where it was a good base to start with broke out all the grinders two inch three inch 4 inch, 9 inch, with all different grits, 24, 36, 50, took out the 4 inch grinding stone that I used to grind down wells, and started grinding. It seemed that heavier grit came up with a better pattern, and started grinding. It was a lot of grinding, back and forth, figure eights, not knowing really what to expect. Uh, I went a little crazy with it, just grinding a pattern, trying to stick with a figure eight because I knew the flame licks would look cool going in that direction. Uh, I needed an adhesive promoter because I didn't know how the paint would stick to bare metal. Uh, picked up a House of Color Adhere To. Uh, which is a spray right out of the can, two coats, 15-20 minutes in between, and once that was done, let it dry, and then I started clearing it. I put three coats of uh, high solid clear on it. It looked pretty good. I was happy with the results. And then you can see I broke out the sun gun and went over to see just what the effect would look like. And I was very happy with it. It uh, was moving around and changing as the light went by and that's pretty much the effect I was hoping for. I know this video is long but bear with me, it's worth it. So going back and forth with the sun gun, looking at the different patterns. Well, then it was time to sand. I started out, I think, with 800 wet, went down to 1,000, and tried to get out as much of the grinding pattern so I'd have a nice smooth surface to lay the flames out on. It took a few days, but I finally got it all smoothed out. Then came the best part, I think, of laying on the flames. Uh, drew up a few things of uh, patterns that I wanted to use till I got what I thought was the perfect flame pattern for this truck. And I used a new tape that I found, uh, FBS, uh, I think is the name of it, 
quarter inch fine line tape and the tape was fantastic. No matter how many times I laid it down and pulled it up, it still stuck like it was brand new. So if anybody's ever done flames, you know you're never always you're never happy with the pattern that you pick. You keep going over it and over it to try and get the best look. Well, I finally got it to where I was very happy with it. And all the licks were done. Then started the three-quarter inch tape. I like the 3M green because it's very flexible. So that taping took a while. And then from three-quarter inch, I go to two inch. Two inches done. Pretty much the whole truck. I don't know how many rolls I went through, I don't even like to think about it, how much it cost to tape, but it was worth it. So, now everything's ready. I picked a house of color, I think, candy apple burgundy. Started spraying it. That's the first coat. Second coat, third coat, fourth coat. If you ever spray candy, you know the more coats you put on, the deeper the color gets. Now, I didn't want to lose the effect underneath of the grinding, so I stopped it at four coats. And I was very happy with the color. After the candy, I put on, I think, about three coats of clear to top it off. So at this point, I took out the sun gun again and checked to see what the flames look like. Moving around, checking the pattern, seeing how each grind mark came up a little differently. It seemed that the heavier grind marks showed up better than the lighter ones. So like I said, depending on what the effect is that you're looking for, uh, I would stick with a heavier grinder, heavier grit grinding pad. And at this point, the tape is ready to come off. And for the first time, I got to see the red against the rest of the truck, which was bad metal, and actually looked silver which was a nice effect, but I couldn't leave it like that because the rest of the truck had to be painted. So I had to start taping up, reverse taping of the flames. Again, starting with the quarter inch fine line tape, going to the three quarter inch uh, tape, and then into the two inch tape. I would suggest always having an X-Acto knife with you because it always comes in handy. Finally, the flames were covered and protected. And the preparation for painting the black. Made sure everything was sticking down, there was no tape lifting. And I started spraying the black base two, I think two or three coats of black. And then that was set wet sanded. I think I used 1200, take it all down. Kept making sure that the tape wasn't lifting anywhere. And then cleared it. Put about two or three coats of a high build clear just to protect everything while I was going to peel off the tape. And once the tape was peeled, 
the final effect came about. The red against the black. It looked fantastic. The original quarter inch fine line tape was left on and was actually used as a pinstripe effect. So the whole flame had a quarter inch of bare metal showing through. I was very happy with the effect that it had. Then what I did was wet sand it again and clear clear over the whole nose. Another two, two or three coats of the hydro clear. And I think I cleared the nose about three times altogether. Um, in between sanding, clearing, I wanted to have enough clear on the truck so driving it around I wouldn't have to worry about road chips because if the candy apple got chipped uh, then there goes your paint job. I mean, this was the final clear coat that was put on. And once again, going around checking with the sun gun and actually for the first time, really getting to see the effect of the grinded flames against the black. As you can see, the flame pattern constantly changing with the light. The flames seem to move as you go around with the light. Pretty amazing to see when I take the truck out and drive it. People stop and stare. And do a double take as the flames are constantly the pattern ch moving, changing. Final assembly, wet sanding, polishing. I also did the same treatment with the front grill, grinding it, clearing it. I wanted something different. I didn't want to put a chrome grill, didn't want to put a painted grill.
The truck was painted about four years ago, and believe it or not, it's been sitting outside the whole time. And the paint job held up. I was very happy. Uh, none of the rust came back on the fenders, a little bit on the grill. The did the same treatment to the tailgate. That was brand new sheet metal, which rusted right away. But I like the effect it had. You know, the truck is done with a new set of rims and tires, which totally changed the look of the truck. The flames look fantastic, especially in the sun. people how to do something you're gonna get 20 different answers but I like to call that it worked for me I'm old school because I'm old but my methods have served me over the last 40 years and hopefully I'll pass something on to you and you can take that and add it to something else that you've seen and make it your own everybody has their own way to do it this is just one of them so I hope you enjoyed it and like and subscribe and ask some questions and I'll hopefully should be able to get back to you. Thank you.